So my lawn's got fungus and weeds. I want to spray it, but it's too wet. Look there. So if you're not familiar with what I'm doing, I'm knocking the dew off the leaf blades, just like this. Oh, hello, putting green. Firstly, PPE. Ooh, the wind's picking up. Damn it. Which is good for drying out the lawn. Look there, guys. No moisture. Right, so what am I putting down today? First thing, fungus. Ta-da! Second thing, weeds. Ta-da! Ta-da! The additives, a little bit of uh, Orovital. You know, with you mates, also acts as a wetting agent. Some uh, chelated, chelated iron, which will probably, hopefully, help the lawn to dark green up a bit. And I'm not going to add this, but my measuring cups. Now let's add some water. It's important to put your water first, because otherwise your clean chemical goes into the pipe first, which you don't want. I'm aiming for around six liters, over 200 square meters. This one is 16 litres, so that's uh, about five. Going on to six. Uh, and stop. Very precise. Right, now I'm going to add my product. Now this and this, I'm going to go full rate. Why is that? Because funguses and weeds kind of build up tolerances like humans would with let's say something like COVID. If you've survived COVID once, you'll probably survive it the next 10 times. And so does the weed. So if you only knock them halfway, they will tolerance up to this chemical or this product that you're putting down and they'll probably survive it the next time. That's why we're gonna go full rate and knock them out. Not more than full rate because you'll probably knock your lawn out as well. Let's get them in the tank. Now guys, very important to read the label. Look there, golf barn and roll barn. I'm working with grass here. Golf courses and roll co um, bowling greens. That was easy. 10 mils per 100 square meters. So read the label. I'm not gonna tell you how much I put in here. I've got 200 squares, just work it out for yourself because every product is different. But like for now, I need 10 mils per 100, so I've got 200 squares, I need 20 mils. I said I wasn't going to do it, but I'm doing it now. I need 20 mils of this bumper fungicide. Not less, not more, 20. So here's my premix stuff, and it doesn't look like much, but it's gonna pack a punch, Owens. There's, that's the only Orovital I've got left, to be honest with you. It's a, that's a pity. We just wash this out into the tank here. Ooh. Now I'm gonna shake this furiously. Like that, oh, it's spilling, it's spilling. Look at that liquid iron coming out there. Oh. I forgot my filter out the whole time. It's not very good. Now there is some chemical stuff in here, so I wanna get my dog off the lawn. Now please excuse me, she only understands Afrikaans home language. Come, fuck off, Iso. Off is jij. So there's not a lot of wind, uh, but I have felt some gusts here and there. So if I really feel a gust, I'm just going to stop and wait it out. Not ideal to spray chemicals like herbicides next to flowers 
when it's windy. Here we go. Here's one incoming. Oh, it's not so bad. Oh, it is. Oh, yes, it's coming here. That's actually quite cool. There's a tree about 80 meters in that direction, and when I can hear its leaves ruffle, it's kind of indicating to me because the wind's coming from that direction that I need to stop because there's a gust incoming. And now it's quiet, so I know in a few seconds the wind will be quiet here. Ta da! So I've also gone and set my nozzle a little bit coarser so it makes more of a droplet instead of a, a spray. I like to use a misting spray most of the time because it feels like the, the, the spray just covers more of the leaf. However, in a little bit windy conditions, the droplets doesn't stray as much off, you know. They don't uh, uh, drift onto the plants. So it seems like I've got about two, two and a half liters left. So I'm going to do a very fast pass just in a different direction just to get all the chemical out. Right, so that's the spraying done. Just to get back to the point where I remove the dew off the lawn with a lawn leveler, there's a, there's a few reasons why I do that. Firstly is we work with a, a very specific rate of chemical to water ratio here, which we apply as a foliar application on the lawn two different types of application. One, foliar application, which I just mentioned, and the other one is a root application, where you want the chemical or whatever you're putting down to be taken up by the roots. One is obviously the leaf of the plant, the other one is the root of the plant. When we're doing a root application, we can put it down when there's dew, because we're gonna put down water afterwards to wash that chemical or whatever fertilizer or whatever we're putting down into the root system to be taken up so that doesn't really matter but when we're talking about foliar applications we want to be really precise so if I've got 50 liters of dew sitting on the plant I'm not ex exactly sure what the exact amount is but if we've got liters of dew sitting on the leaf what we're essentially doing is we're diluting that form and especially when we're adding something like a wetting agent that could break up the surface tension and that droplets could run into the soil or on top of the soil so that's exactly the stuff we don't want we want it to be as effective as possible so that we use as little as possible product so when the leaf blade is completely dry that's our best chance to be ex as exact as we possibly can be and guys that's going to wrap it up no need to water this in this will need to sit on the leaf blade for a few hours it's probably going to dry out with this wind um, quite soon but keep the dogs off keep off this area let the chemical do its job on the leaf blade of the plant so that's going to wrap it up guys be very precise um, when working with herbicides fungicides go full rate don't half rate it your, your disease or your uh, weed will build up tolerance to that chemical and it won't be as effective so do it right the first time and I promise you especially when walking don't when you see weeds stay on that area trust the chemical to do its job just walk the same pace all over the entire area of the lawn. So just to give you an update on the fertilizer, as you've seen on this grass, it really looks quite nice, uh, but there's still a lot of room for improvement. The fertilizer definitely made an e uh, a difference, not an issue, a difference, uh, that we put down about a week ago, uh, but still some major issues, funguses, weeds, that I really need to sort out. So hopefully we can step by step improve it. It's not an overnight fix, it's a continuous process this Owens. That's it from my side, thank you so much for watching. I'll see you in the next video. Cheers for now, bye bye. It's been six days and I've smashed these weeds Owens. Still some of it surviving like here, but a lot of it is dying off. So I'll probably have to do a follow-up application with a herbicide. And more or less the same result with a fungus, guys. Looking like it's improving, I'll probably give it another few days before I decide whether I put a follow-up application, but I probably will. More or less the same result as the herbicide. I'll call that a win.